Okay. <laughs> Hello, dear friends. Good afternoon. Good evening. When I am uh, making this video, it's actually <coughs> evening time. <coughs> and uh, I said I will do a video to read your, your comments. And uh, a lot of time, I just feel that uh, reading comments, it's... Uh, it's the poet, the, 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 the pure poetry. And I think today is National Poetry Day. And I will take this opportunity to read some of your words. You know, when you have a connection with someone, anything, the words from that particular person, from your friend, it's just poetry. It's poetry to my heart. So I am going to read it. <clears throat> Naomi Williams. I think she, she writes, I love seeing what different families keep on hand in their fridge and pantries. I feel like the recipes that are handed down and shared between family members are the most special to see. Oh, that's so, so nice. Birch Rosna, your voice is relaxing. Thank you, I said. I like uh, any voice over, especially when I can hear your appreciation of something. Birch, you hear it. I am appreciating your words. <laughs> Vantage Gao, <clears throat> I can hear the rain in the background. It makes a, a nice atmosphere. I love everything relating to food. Food is comforting and uh, a good socializer. We make friends over a plate of food and food puts us in a happy mood. Not only food, your words also put me in a happy mood. Thank you, Vintage Girl. Vintage Girl. <clears throat> Ashling Grace, not entirely sure why, but I personally am captivated by good quality food. Even as observing, something about it is extremely pleasing. I often find my Instagram to be filled with cooking food videos, despite the fact that I am not a chef. <laughs> I also adore your videos. So it feel, so it feels like a, a win win to me. Thank you, Ashley. These are graceful words. Is peeling, is peeling. The world is so negative everywhere. Food is a great thing that pulls us together and makes everyone. Happy. It's a safe space. That's uh, that's so sure. So sure, you can you can talk with someone. That one dish, that one flavor, it's really connecting people. Twinkles, drones. It's an art form. It's tempting to look at and love. To look at love, eye candy, is that love? 
it's tempting to look at love, uh, to look at eye candy. <laughs> oh. So, so far we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six uh, comments. Yeah, food, food review, it's, it's really um, uh, a very interesting thing. I think I will put some more attention into those foods. And this one particular, okay, I will put down the sound of it so that uh, it's not disturbing. Uh oh, can I slow it down? No, I cannot slow it down. Okay, I will just stop it. Okay, so this fried, uh, this is rice, shrimp, a little bit onion, and uh, and uh, green peas. I think these peas are maybe some leftover food. Anyway. Cooking fried rice is left over. It's like ban um, ban aux almond ban almond. It's croissant left over for one day. You put something on top of it, almond on top of it, and recover it. Like ban perdu, it becomes a, a bread pudding. It becomes a new thing. It's an even better thing. So fried rice, if you use fresh rice to cook fried rice, you, you might be going to jail. I mean, in Yang Hai Ying's jail. It's totally illegal. Don't do that. Use old leftover rice. You can put egg. If you do not have egg, do not put egg. You can put vegetable, put meat, put seafood, put anything handy. It's, uh, I never cook fried rice the same thing, the same way. It's just whatever is coming um, and whatever is handy. Okay, the next one. Oh, I think this is shishito pepper. And uh, there was one time in our farmer's market, they started to do it. I think it's three, four, five years ago, it starting, started to be a la mode. And it's not, uh, not very spicy and very easy. The, the, the pepper, you can eat it raw by itself, but just... A layer of popping up, a layer of heat, brings the flavor, the the texture, and uh, the heat that uh, that bubbling, uh, the, the, the 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 bubbling um, joy. It brings everything together. When it is finished, you put some salt, a little grind some, a little bit of pepper with my ladies, the salt lady and pepper lady, and that's it. It's very, very simple. And, uh, and it's a particularly in farmer's market, there are a couple of guys throw it to the pan and... Um, throw it to the saucepan or, or pot and then all your pew, 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 ah, the flavor it's it's occupying it's flying around the whole farmer's market it's fun it's fun okay the next one this one this one I cannot see this is too close I think this is uh a uh, filet mignon or something, cannot see. And this one is fried rice, fried rice. We got some um, uh, long rice, basmati rice, left over. And that day I did some onion. So why not put caramel onion? So I use some stir fry some egg and put some caramel onion 
and rise together, then that's it. So this one is a salmon fish, the salad on the side. Because this is a, a repurposed video, not repurposed video, these are pictures that I, I took picture in the vertical horizontal horizontal vertical in the in the horizontal form or landscape form. So when I change into short it becomes um, only a small portion of it seeing. You do not see the whole picture of it. It's a pity. And with the salad, the salad dressing, and um, tomato, everything put together, it's really beautiful. And uh, my family, my husband, is good at doing it. He, he made it. Anything grill, anything uh, barbecue, and those things he did. He did um, grill the salmon skin with... Uh, with a, a cast iron skillet, Psst, totally grilled the skin, and uh, and uh, and then simmer a little bit. And salmon you can eat even fresh uh, without cooking, so it's very easy to to make it. Well, I say very easy to make it. I never made it right. Mm. Okay. Let's see the next one. Oh, this one is my uh, jam. It's my um, fig jam. It's so pretty. I do not know why. When you go to supermarket, go to other place to buy, the, the fig jam is always quite dark color. But in our family, it's always very, very bright pink color and not only from this tree when I was in when I was in Australia we made some of this fig jam also bloody red and it's so pretty and this one particular one we put our blackberry juice together with it so so it makes it even more uh, bright color Okay, let's see this one. This one is shrimp ceviche. I use the red shrimp from Chilean or Argentina red. I think Argentina red shrimp. And usually the, the shrimp, when it is cold, when it is not cooked, it's green color, blue color or white color. This one, when it is not cooked, it is still red color, a little bit red on it. So I made this uh, uh, ceviche uh, of shrimp by myself. Mm, I like it. Okay, now we see the next one. <laughs> this one is a fig, our backyard fig tree goes with manchego, it's just a perfect. This is the caramel onion I am talking about. That making that uh, that uh, uh, fried rice with egg with caramel onion. I think that's almost the end of it. And this is a ceviche in another angle to see it. And this one is. Uh, I think it's a, a cod fish, Chilean sea bass, and my husband did it, and it was very good. And a little bit poached, a little bit uh, grilled, and with sauce in it. It's not just a grill, grill, and then put, uh, uh, cook it in, in the tomato sauce, so it's juicy, and uh, not uh, buttery. This one is a uh, is uh, a more uh, uh, olive oil and uh, tomato and uh, vegetable and lemon zest, lemon julienne, lemon skin julienne, and um, 
very fresh, very fresh and refresh. A salad on the side. Let's see this one. This one is, is uh, I made it, I think. I just uh, boil, um, boil the, the pork meat for a long time. It's a Chinese way of um, carnitas. Or it's, uh, um, it's Mexican way of Chinese stewed pork or cha shao, a little bit sweet. I did not put any red coloring, so the color does not look as pretty as the, the, the cha shao, but uh, the taste is good. Not too sweet, not as sweet as cha shao. I didn't put a lot of sugar. You can put a, a, a mirin wine, as a substitute for sugar. You can use uh, Coca-Cola as a substitute for sugar or, or any of the soft drink that you cannot finish. Put it in and boil it and then reduce it. That's about it. And this one is mul. My husband liked to make it and he made it so good and just boil it. Um, I remember when we went to uh, Belgium, Belgium, Be 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 Belgium, Belgium, when we went to Belgium to Bourges, and uh, we we ate this moule, moule frite à volonté. <laughs> uh. And in a lot of uh, French seaport city, this is a very common, common dish. Okay, we come back to the stir fried uh, uh, rice, rice with egg, with shrimp, and everything. That's about it. Thank you very, very much. This is one patch of uh, of photos. Next time when I have uh, when I go to some other restaurants, maybe I will I will take advantage of going out to eat. I do not eat out very often. It's a, it's a very big deal for me. <laughs> it's a big ceremony for me to go out to eat. Thank you very very much. I love you. I really do. Do 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 do. Goodbye. Bye.